What's up everybody? It's Lexi D here coming to you off another video. As you can tell by the title of this video, I'm going to be talking to you all about some lessons learned that I have experienced while being the age of 25. I am now 26 years old and overall I can say that the age of 25 was actually a really great year for me. So if you want to hear more, then keep watching and let's get started. First thing, I am a goal person. Instead of setting kind of New Year's resolutions, because my birthday is so close to the New Year, I always set goals that I like to have achieved by my birthday. And so I had five goals. I'm going to um, go through each one of them. The first one was to stay present. For me, staying present meant not getting too caught up in the future and not getting too caught up in the past. If you've been watching my videos consistently, then you know I've talked about being present a lot and I've talked about reading The Power of Now and that being really integral to me on this journey. And I can definitely say that more, I, I would definitely say more, um, more so this year than any other year, I have definitely stayed present and it has helped me tremendously. It's helped me to connect more with others. It's helped me to connect more with myself and it's helped me to be just in more of a peaceful space. Number two was journaling at least once a week. This was huge for me as well. I am someone who really likes documenting things. I mean, I have a journal from when I was nine years old. If you've been watching my videos, you've seen me pull out that journal and show you what it looks like. But I'm huge on journaling and I wanted to be more consistent with that what I was seeing was a pattern of me journaling only when things were going bad for me and when I would look back at those journal entries I felt like wasn't there something good going on like why am I only seeing the negative going on in my life so in order to kind of really see or infuse more positivity in my life I felt like let me journal every single week so I can see what is really going on and so I stuck to that and I haven't read back the journal entries just yet but I'm excited to kind of go through them and see how my life kind of transformed over this age. Number three was to complete a simple year course. I talked about this in one of my vlogs before. I signed up for this course called A Simple Year and it's basically focused on simplifying your life. There was different arenas that they went over. I didn't finish the course entirely just yet. I still have December to finish up and of course we still have a few weeks in December for me to finish up. But overall I found that course to kind of be a breath of fresh air. It was something that whenever I uh, would go through the modules it would help me to return to a place where I was like okay do I really need this in my life is it adding value to my life is there a way that I can you know simplify my life even more such that I'm able to be in more in tune with myself and more in tune with those around me number four was huge accept and love myself this is something that I had struggled with for a while it's something still really new for me to actually be able to say that I truly do accept and love myself for a while I was struggling with my emotional self and I felt like I don't like having emotions why are they useful they seem to always just get me into trouble but I got to a better space with my emotions where I was able to see and I am able to see the value in my emotions and acknowledging that you know, there's going to be some emotions that don't feel so good. There's going to be some that feel amazing. But it's a part of living. If I didn't have any emotions, how boring would my life be? And so coming to a place where I finally accept and love myself, I am so grateful to say that that is now the case. Of course, I have my days like any other person in this world, but I am definitely much more um, keen to the accepting and loving myself side than the insecure side, if that makes any sense. Finally, my last goal was to fill up an empty jar with memories from this year. And I am so excited about this one. Again, as I said before, I love documenting things. And so to be able to take an entire year and anytime I did something fun, like going out with my friends or, you know, going to an event or, you know, something great happening at work, I made sure to write it on a post-it note and I put it in this jar here. I haven't gone through any of them yet, but I'm actually really excited to read through all of the memories. It's crazy how fast this year has gone by and I feel like I'm gonna be saying that every single year, but I don't think words can really express just how quickly this year went by. Two days ago, I was having my typical anxiety that I have pretty much around every single birthday and I just was feeling like, how did it go by this quickly? I remember being 25 and did it and just all those kind of thoughts processing through my mind. And I'm thankfully on my the day of today, my birthday, I'm much more at peace. And I have an understanding that, hey, you know, I can either 
drown in that thought that life is passing me by so quickly or I can swim with the current and say hey it is what it is that's just even more of a reason for me to push myself in the direction that I want to be to some lessons learned so I'm gonna do kind of I'm gonna try to do maybe some lessons around um, categories it helps me to process things to put things in categories so career um, or just lessons learned and accomplishments career this year I got a really good performance feedback from my manager you know he told me that I was working at a level that was way above where I'm at right now and I felt like that was really good feedback for myself I always feel like he gives me better feedback than I even give myself so in terms of my career it was definitely a really good year for me um, it was my year where I was promoted so I was promoted in November of last year and so this year was the first year of me being in this um, kind of higher level up so it was really good to have that feedback in terms of my friendships this has been one of the most trying years of my life when it comes to my friendships it's um, it's become readily apparent to myself that friendships are relationships and you have to nurture them or they are going to die and this year you know I did have some people who I thought were gonna be my life longer who are no longer in my life I've had some people step up to the plate who I didn't think were going to do that and it's just been really eye-opening for me <clears throat> It's been really eye-opening for me to see, even when I meet new friends, I've met a couple of new friends this year, and so being able to see, being able to meet them where they're at and meet them where I'm at, and just seeing how we can mesh, how we can click, it's been really interesting to me. And so I've gained a couple of great new friends, and I'm so excited to see how my friendships are going to keep on flowing. Relationships. Okay, so last year, uh, pretty much every year before that I feel like I was just stacking lesson learned on top of lesson learned in terms of relationships and this year more than anything I feel like all my lessons have been confirmed I can't say that I've really learned anything groundbreaking this year uh, but I can say that I feel very much uh, very I feel very much more confident in what it is that I feel like I need in a partner and want in a partner and so I'm excited to see kind of how this year 26 is going to go I'm much more confident and self-assured and uh, with all the lessons that you know with all the videos and tips that I provide you all in relationships I take that to myself and use that and it's been a really good year in terms of that I am still single but I have a really optimistic outlook on that health I have consistently worked out four to five days a week every single week I have pushed myself further than I ever have you know always trying new workouts as you all saw with one of my previous videos I have a new series workout of the moment because I do try and I have tried several different workouts over this past year and so my health overall is pretty good you know still working with this whole thyroid thing but you know I feel like everything works out for the best so we'll see kind of how that results in the next few months so in relation to myself I said this earlier about accepting and loving myself that's been huge for me I feel like I've really got an understanding this year that I am resilient and that I am able to do anything that I I'm able to get through anything and I'm able to do anything that I really, I hate to say set my mind to, that sounds so cliche, but I am. I'm able to really create, I have more control than I think I do and I'm able to create a life that I love and that I enjoy. And even though I may not be, you know, in a career that is um, what I ultimately want to do, I'm on the path to that and I'm enjoying my life while I get to an even better space. I think that's huge for all of us to know that we shouldn't hold back our happiness until we get to a certain place because guess what? There's gonna be another, what I like to call, happiness barrier after that. So a happiness barrier being something that keeps you from being happy. I am truly happy right now, I'm at peace right now. But of course there's certain things that I want in the future that I don't necessarily have right now, but I'm very grateful for what I have. And also me having a gratitude journal where I wrote, wrote in that consistently has also helped me to keep things into perspective. And whenever things were difficult, I feel like I've been able to pick myself up a lot quicker and say, hey, you're going to get through this. You've been through so much crap, you know, 25 years. You're going to get through this today just like you got through everything yesterday. So I feel like that was a lot. <laughs> 
but overall I am so happy to see the age of 26 I'm very blessed I'm very grateful and I am so excited for what this year is going to bring for me age 25 was amazing so I know that this is gonna be nothing short of amazing as well I want to thank you all for watching this video if you enjoyed it make sure to give it a thumbs up also make sure to subscribe because I post new videos every week if you do want to give me a birthday present you can share this video or share any of my videos with someone that you may find someone that may find it of interest and I will see you all in my next video. Deuces!